Holidays are here, and so is fashionable fitness. Gift yourself a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G, a phone that folds in half to literally stand on its own. Pair it with the Galaxy Watch 4 for ultimate wellness and wow factor. Check health stats, flex personal records. Over 90 activities can be tracked, like biking, swimming, golfing, and more. Invest in yourself with tech made to crush goals. Holidays open up with Galaxy. Shop it all at Samsung.com. 5G connection and availability may vary. Check with Carrier. Products sold separately. Data is the digital world's most precious resource, and with Backblaze, an easy-to-use cloud storage provider, you can make sure your data is truly secure and available. Whether it's music, documents, photos, or anything else, Backblaze offers an unlimited computer backup solution. Plus, everything is accessible worldwide via web and mobile applications. Backblaze backs up your entire Mac or PC, and it's just $7 per month. Your data is everything. Back it up, access it, and use it with Backblaze. For a 15-day free trial, visit backblaze.com slash holidays. Sci-Fi, Dapalulu's Equation by Paul W. Fairman It's not the knowing that gets you, the wondering, thinking sometimes one way and sometimes the other, but knowing for sure, being suckered. It is bad enough, for, but wondering whether you've been suckered is rougher, or whether you get the biggest thing, they're the biggest, they're the biggest thing ever since fingerprints slide right by you. Someday the case may be solved. Then we know for sure, one way or the other, Donovan and I, what case, wait, I'll tell you. I don't take, it won't take long. The thing started with a crazy murder as two homicide cops ever got called in on a bar on the 10th Avenue near Grand. You probably know the place. You probably read about the case. It was all in, in all the papers, but the whole story never saw print. We were run into by a call for the squad car boys. We got the, there first. We walked in. The cop we didn't know pointed a thumb at the young guy lying with his head on the bar and said, deader than a lamppost, for my money, a young lad, around 23 or 4, lying there as though he had too many and was sleeping off. He was drowned one too many. He sh- would spend all eternity sleeping off. He was he was all through. Barkeep stood there with his apron hanging out, a baffled look on his face, a look. And all the earmarks of being genuine, I said, Kennedy, homicide, what happened? Well, he shrugged, licked his dry lips, I don't know, he just kneeled over. I got killed over, I got scared and called the cops. The kid certainly looked like a normal job. As I said, you didn't take things like that for granted. The squad car boys are called General Hospital. Now a couple of internees came in with a respirator. They didn't use it, though. One of them put his nose close down to the boy's kid's mouth. I looked into the Kowalki. You served him a drink? Balki nodded. That's what he came in for. Let's see the bottom. Balki gave that the little thought and took it. And then he took the bottle of the rack and pushed it over the bar. The attorney sniffed it, made me a face and said, made a face and said, that's enough arsenic. Tell me to deep, 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 Populate New Jersey. Arsenic? Barkey croaked. You're crazy. We didn't serve nobody no arsenic here. And Tony looked at Donovan and me and said, Call the meat wagon. That's this one is beyond us. It of identification. And Arthur Davis, with nothing at all sinister in his wallet. And this lab man came. And there was a lot of activity for an hour or so. Then we padlocked the joint and took the barkey downtown with us. He, his on-the-spot story was simple. Davis had come in and ordered a drink. Barkeep served it up. Davis knocked it off. A drink, in turn, knocked Davis off. Barkeep's name was Timothy Garver. He was a middle-aged court cor- puller who had been in the business most of his life. He ran him through R and I and found him clean. Then we sat down him down in the interrogation room and started digging into him. What have you uh, have against Davis? Garvner looked like a flabby-jawed ghost. He 
His hands shook. Nothing to help me. I've never seen the guy before. You think we're swallowing that, Donovan asked. You think we're playing with school kids? Tell us you're poison a guy you never saw before? I said, maybe he did He did it for laughs. I didn't poison him, Garbiners pleaded. You've got to believe me. You mean there wasn't any poison in that bottle? Sure there was, if you, you say so. What it means is I didn't put it there. I didn't know it was there. I, what do you mean? It, it was your, you plan to get the guy out in the alley after he's dead? You got lost and you lost your nerve? Are they kneeled over? Killed over? No, oh, no, no, nothing like that. You had that bottle spiked waiting for Davis to come in. No, no, it's just an ordinary bar bottle. What do you mean by that? Every tavern in a bar has a brand of whiskey they push. Their, their bar whiskey. When the customer isn't particular about his brand, you give him the bar liquor. Liquor. It seemed to me the guy was gaining courage. He wasn't quite as nervous as he'd been. You served other people out that same bottle, I asked. He licked his lips and dropped his eyes before he answered. Sure I did. But that was before you put the arsenic in, in it. I didn't put any poison in that bottle. And you guys can't pin this on me. What, if, what makes you think we can't? Because I never knew no the fella. And you can't prove I did. So how are you going to make anyone believe I killed someone I didn't know and had nothing against? You think I'm nuts or something? It's a possibility, I said. Donovan narrowed his eyes at Gardner. I said, you're holding something back. Come on, out of it. Again, he looked that guilty look as Gardner shook his head. But he, you can't send a guilty look to the chair. Is he in Gardner? Had us stumpified, stumped At least for a while, we juggled at him for suspicion. But he knew, unless we got something else to strengthen the case, we wouldn't get an indictment against him. There just wasn't enough. Dunham and I chewed over it with the captain. He couldn't give us any help except advice to keep plugging. We told him we'd try to come up with something and went to the back of the tavern. The owner had been there and gone. and still the pole patrolman stationed in front. Donovan unlocked the door and released his patrolman with his regular beat and we went inside. It was very quiet, naturally. Nothing is quiet in this world than an empty bar, I said. Well, where do we start? Donovan shrugged. You got me. You know darn well nothing is going to happen in this case till it breaks from the outside. That's right. What he meant was a new angle coming from a stalley or something opening up while we investigate David's background of gardeners. And something new was added right there, here in the tavern. Very suddenly a guy popped up from behind the bar and said, Hello. We wheeled around and looked at him. Donovan snorted, Who the hell are you? My name is Tennyson Diddleberry. What kind of label was that? Man came around from behind the bar. I liked it. I took it. It annoys you. I'm sorry. But you could... You could tell by the sneer on his face that he wasn't sorry at all. He was a medium-sized, unattractive figure of a man, yet you couldn't put your finger on just where the unattractiveness came from. He wasn't good-looking, neither was he repulsive. He didn't have a superman's frame, but neither was he a cripple nor a man full freak. There was just something about him you took for an instant dislike to, and dislike stayed with you. A dippable... Seemed to enjoy increasing antagonism. He wore a natural habitable sneer. His voice had a cutting quality to it. I said, what the hell are you doing in here? Coming about, coming about my business entrance is permitted. There was a policeman in front. The door was locked. There's a back door. That was locked too. Lots of silly things. Any fool should be able to handle such feeble devices. Don't we were snarling. Look, brother, you're talking yourself right into trouble. Now tell us what you're doing here, and tell it quick. Read a gas meter. Why? Why should? Why would anyone read a gas meter? I work for a gas company. This place is on my route. I think you're lying. It'd be easy enough to find out. We find out at headquarters. You're taking me in? What do you think? The papa certainly wasn't afraid of cops. Shook his head in disgust and said, It's certainly a stupid world you live in. What of idiots? Really, it is. 
normally I'm pretty easy going, but this punk with his talent rubbing people up the wrong way just plain got to me. If you're so damn smart, why are you reading meters in the gas for the gas company? He grinned and his grin said he was happy to get a rise out of me. I just arrived recently. The job will do until I get around to what I'm planning. Donovan invented his hostility to the holding the guy out of the car. The people made no resistance, but Donovan managed to get mildly rough. Regardless, this also seemed to make little children happy. Though he looked, took the roughness as a sign, got under Donovan's skin too, which he had, threw a few insults at us while we rode at the headquarters. We held in. Knowing if we gave ourselves an inch, it would take a mile and slug him, and have it all over, and have it over with. In the interrogation room, he went at him with all the fixings—a strong set of his eyes, cigarette smoke in his dark face. Donovan smiled and his pus said, "All right, Buster, let's get out of the jokes. What were you doing in the Taliban? Reading the gas meter? I said, cut out the jokes." You have got over my identification? What makes you think uh, I had any reason for going there? I asked the questions. Maybe you didn't realise what spot you're in. That's his idiotic. This whole procedure em- emulates from your personal dislike of me. All you have to do is call the company. What do you know about the Davis killing? Or oh, what I heard in the neighbourhood. Intriguing little equation, isn't it? I think we, re- we realised from the beginning with nothing on the parole and we wouldn't be able to involve him. We hit it on the nose when he said our motivation was personal dislike. Finally, he went out and called the gas factory, realising he delayed doing this because we knew it would lose the pool for us. When, we went, when I went back, I told Donovan he still hated to let go. You know, he told us, steering little me to read her, we can still throw you in the can. What for? Trespassing, breaking, entering. Oh yes, but you won't. And why not? Because it would be too small a triumph. You know you would be acting from spite. It would diminish your stature in your own eyes. Donovan was trying to swallow this ha- helpless wrath. When I remember something Deborah was said, look, listen, punk, exactly where did you come from? That's right, you made, you made some funny cracks, you said. To quote, this is certainly a stupid world you live in. What of idiots, you also said. I just arrived recently. Now it occurs to me that I might have come from a place beyond this planet you call Earth. No, that's the, that's, that, that's your crab pot. You're a crab pot psycho. Maybe we'd better hold you. You see what I mean? Tickled, ticked off his replies on his fingers. I did so, did come from a world far beyond yours. I'm not a crackpot, not a psycho, and you will not hold me. I looked at, looked at Donovan. Donovan looked at me. His voice gentled in a tone of soft contempt. Just where do you come from, punk? From Alivia Motorus. And don't bother looking it up. It's a planet and galaxy beyond the conception of your most brilliant minds. You use the term brilliant very loosely. And how did you get here? You couldn't possibly understand that if I told you. Your empire mind simply couldn't grasp a mathematical ex- accident. They brought me here, nor the ten million to one chance they're happening again. Donovan grinned and put in participation. You actually think we're go- not going to turn you over to Psycho? Of course you're not. And for what reason will we refrain from such? Because if they do, you'll never get your stupid little murder sold. Found myself poised and ready to pounce. Then you've been holding out? Oh, if you mean, do I know who killed Davis? No. If you mean I can find out? Yes. Well, well, Donovan growled. Detective two, Dope of all split in a sneer between us. It's nothing but a mathematical problem. The world I come from, students corresponding to our first graders, are started out with far harder equations. So you can take a pencil and figure it out, huh? Certainly. <coughs> Does everyone need customer support today? We've got you. Intercom has the tools to manage support at any scale, like integrations, bots, and more. 
All in one powerful platform will even automatically resolve 33% of your support volume so you have more time for customers who need you most. Oh, that's better. Supercharge your team's productivity and make your customers super happy with Intercom. Learn more at intercom.com slash support. Meet Cocovia Memory Plus with some of the most researched plant-based nutrients harnessing the natural compounds within the cocoa bean. To improve memory and brain function in just 8 to 12 weeks, try Cocovia Memory Plus capsules. Order today at cocovia.com. That's C O C O A V I A.com and use coupon code CCV20 to get 20% off your order. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. I tried to remember since exactly what my reaction to the pill was at the time. Hatred transcended any other emotion I may have had, but there was something else, a feeling of almost personal discomfort springing from the certainty. He wanted us to hate him, or at least didn't care whether, he, whether or not we did. This was part of my reaction, and wondering why also. There was, other, there was an element of vague fear too, and for this I'm sure a vague senseless conviction. This crackpot could do all we claimed he could do. I remember that when this last came to my conscious mind, I rejected it as with indignation. I knew Donovan was rejecting something too. He turned from Dippapol with a sneer and said, We can't. We haven't got time to fall with psychos. We've got the murder to solve. Kick this guy out and let the white coats find him all over again. I was staring too. I took a pencil for it at him and said, All white wise guy, there's one. Let's see what you can do. Have you got a piece of paper? Almost savagely, Donovan ripped a page off the calendar. Blank on the back. He threw it on the table. And all the time, I could see his eyes. They were asking, why the hell am I doing this? I'm trying to cover the question up. But question by showing contempt. We glanced swiftly at each other. There was guilt in both our faces. Like two realists meeting outside a fortune teller's tent. Then Paul took over. We have certain facts, he began. A dead man, a person who admit, admits he went through the physical motions of killing him, always had a method of producing death, poison, and sitting on the crime. I think we had enough of this clowning, Donovan said in a husky voice. Do you ignore the intru- interruption? I'm not even bothering to sneer at Donovan. And every school child of my planet knows each of these facts must be given a symbol and must become part of the exploratory equation. A little rusty in such things, but it sounded to me the same way school children are playing when about solving the problems in algebra. I didn't say anything, though. The poor had a pencil racing over the paper, laying out a series of weird symbols, like which I'd never seen. There were neither numbers nor letters, nor the kind of dramatic or algebra symbols used on earth either. Of that I was sure. Because as I could come to compare them with Egyptian hieroglyphics, and yet, that was far from the mark. But whatever they were, Dippable seemed to know exactly what he was doing. After a few minutes, he leaned back and said, There, this rudimentary exploration is complete. Now we search it for the flaws. Donovan and I got interested to the point that the studies were temporarily suspended. Donovan asked, Search what? For which flaws? You hadn't the mental scope to understand even the basis of what I'm doing. But maybe you understand this. There's no such thing as ch- chance in civilization or culture, which is probably based upon mathematics. In such a civilized, civilization lies evasions are unheard of because all action, emotion, past, present or future can be elevated and revealed in complete exactitude. But trying to follow along, I said, we got things like that, the robot brains, we call them. They figure out impossible problems. It came to me at that moment how we're talking, t- taking for granted through our conversation, our statements, even our thinking that Dippel is exactly what he said he was, a man from another world. He said, I know you refer to it, but they are so childishly conceived as we to be almost useless, the old near again. Donovan growled, I look at Took a lot, but you haven't proved a damn thing. On the contrary, the flaws in this equation turn out for themselves. For instance, a zone is implicated. 
were made most obviously be supplemented in order to balance the Zia, shaking of the supplementary equation. Are you kidding, Donovan Ross? Of a go technical terms and translate into realities, you can grasp. It amounts to this. But I to pour the actual poison to the glass, but all unknowing. However, as a most dominant factor of the equation, you must be further developing along the lines of separate motivation. In other words, a completely unrelated motivation part cleared the way for the crime. The both fingers are flying. Part of the weird symbols are appearing. Motivation for the weight he bears. Case is made up with two characteristics, habit and greed. Where does that, 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 what does that get us, I ask? It reveals the fact the bartender poured the poison into the bottle, but without knowledge that it was poison, nor with malicious intent. That's impossible, I said. Not at all the whole sequence becomes clear. We strive to complete our innovational equation of balance in the first phase. Bartender poured an and consumed drink back in the bottle. Of the, he, after however ordered it, whoever ordered it, walked out without drinking it. Of course, the logic of hit Donovan and me in the same moment. Donovan said, how the hell did you think of that? He meant it as a compliment. The pill did not take it as such. I didn't think of it. You fool, I wanted it out. Haven't you understood anything I've told you? It's here in the progression of the equation. Incidentally, the factor is pivot. The whole sequence, your stupid logic, should carry you on from there. Somebody was trying to poison somebody else, Donovan said. There had to be two men, I added. They came in, ordered drinks. One poured poison, the other drink. Then they left without. Dippo was leaning at me. How about one man and suicide? I swore at myself inwardly, for giving him the opening. He turned back to his simple and said, By sheer blundering trance, you hit it. For though it was two men and attempted murder, Donovan wasn't having such much to say. Pill through, the pill threw down a pencil. I'm going to be going now. I have more important things to do. Can you give us the name of the two men? I asked as again, swore and myself for being over eager. The pearl gave at me a long, disgusted, cynical look. I can, but I won't. It, it won't take another hour to round out the equation. I don't feel like doing all the work for you. You can't take what I've given you. Tie up the case. You'll be better both resign. We got up and started to leave. At the door he turned. I live at the Crescent. Crescentwood Hotel, if you'd like. Want to get in touch with me again? He said, maybe. Oh, you need help someday in tying your shoes. It left neither Donovan nor I made any attempt to stop him. After a long minute, Donovan said, we can't let him go. He's holding that killing. We've got to be. How else would he know? Are you sure he's involved? Dovin didn't answer. He picked up the f- f- pencil, snapped it in two with a brute, savage gesture. It's nearly little son of a... Besides, we've got no proof he was right in anything he said. Let's go find out. He found out. Didn't take long. We got a citation. We hit Gerber with one question. Who was in a bar just before Davis entered? He collapsed right into a lapse. We got it all. We knew. It was a hard trace. Down, two guys called Kinder and Walpole. They were both drunk. They came in and Walpole had some arsenic with him. He was going to make a bug spray with. He got a saw a Kinder for some drunken reason and poured some of the stuff into his drink while Kinder was in the washroom. Then something pulled them back in the street before they had their drinks. Gardner heard metal grind and thought he prob- that was probably it. Once outside, they probably forgot the tavern they'd been in because they didn't return. Gar was glad to get rid of them. He hadn't seen the poison pouring bit and dumped the shots into the bottle. And Davis killed over as a result of the next shot out the bottle. Gar was scared he could lose his job. His boss wouldn't, could ha- have his license but for serving drinks and for pouring the whiskey back. So that was the case, a tragic accident incident. Walpole was not even remembering what he'd done, and with Davis dead. We would have been better off leaving it there, charging Dippo off as a chatbot who had made a lucky guess. 
and taking the credit for breaking the case. We did take the credit, but it's hard to believe once we've done gone. The pool was actually, actually for real. So uh, one afternoon, a couple of weeks later, we're passing the Crestwood Hotel. Donovan break the car and squirted at the building. Squinted at the building. This is where he said he lived. I knew who Donovan meant. Uh-huh. Let's go up. Why not? We went in and got the room number from the clerk and went on and went up. We knocked the pool, opened the pool, opened the door. He hadn't changed a bit. There's a sneer in his face, a hostility to his voice when he said, Ha, oh, police force. What happened? Somebody steal your squad car? He turned around before he could answer and went back to the room. We followed him and stood there looking at the layout. A big table in the middle of the floor with a huge sheet of paper on it. The symbol street was almost completely covered with funny symbols he'd used solving the bar poisoning. Had he, had he, or had he sold it? Anyhow, he went back to his work as though he didn't even come Adding more symbols along one edge. Finally, Donovan asked, What the hell are you doing? Dubbo looked as though annoyed at being disturbed. I'm ready to stay on the planet. I like it here. I like it here. What's all that got to do with this? Do with staying? I have to I have to have money. The very things are done here. Money is vitally necessary. How are you going to get it? Dubbo looked up and he sneered, frightened. I'm going to steal it. Don and I looked at each other in a kind of double plate. I said, don't think you can tell us how and where you're going to, going to do the stealing. I don't, I won't tell you how, and that would be silly. I don't mind telling you where. He put it down as another symbol. All right, where? I'm not quite sure yet. Chicago, New York, Pittsburgh. This is a master plan. I'm almost finished. It involves pinnacle spells, a method of operation. There's much more to be done, of course. Assistance. Will have to be approached, analysed, methodically as case as as to capabilities. How much money do you think of stealing? I think I need about five million. Dupol said calmly. Don and I looked at each other again. Our eyes asked the questions. What should we do about this? All going in and get laughed at, or did we ha- have it right to hold him in if he wanted to? Just call him a crackpot and let it let it go at that. Sure, it was obvious thing to do. The easiest way to stick our necks out. At that moment, I saw the pill smile ever so slightly. Although he knew exactly what was going on in our minds, we had allowance for its, uh, it on his damn chart. Donovan shrugged. Let's get away from this creep, he said. We turned and walked out. He never saw the pill again. I practically, in fact, I practically forgot about it. Him for when a year later, the date was January 17th, 1951. I came back to the squad room late in the afternoon. The paper lying on the front desk. Donovan and I used it. Used it. Headline read Deck Up Man gets seven million in Boston. They went on to tell how the famous, uh, of the how the famous bricks hold up in that city. Hold up had been so not been sold to this day. Seemingly perfect crime. Still nothing for me to get excited about. Not that sort of letter had been lying under the paper. It was addressed to both Donovan and me. Names are designated printed in lead pencil. With no address to turn dress, I tore it open. A white card fell out. On the card was printed two words, nothing else. The words read, Oh, Boston. That's where we, and that's where we sit now. Almost seven years ago, that st- stick up occurred. For seven years, Donovan and I waited for the law to crack it, so we could, could quit wondering, so we could tell ourselves that De Paul was just another screwball. But a statue of limitations, he ran out of the Great Briggs robbery, and now we're beginning to wonder if it really was sold. Wondering if we could have stopped it by stopping Brick Br- De Paul, brain behind it all. Wondering if he really was a man from another, oh hell, just don't, can't be, or could it? Data is the digital world's most precious resource, and with Backblaze, an easy-to-use cloud storage provider, you can make sure your data is truly secure and available. Whether it's music, documents, photos, or anything else, Backblaze offers an unlimited computer backup solution. Plus, everything is accessible worldwide via web and mobile applications. Backblaze backs up your entire Mac or PC, and it's just $7 per month. Your data is everything. 
back it up, access it, and use it with Backblaze. For a 15-day free trial, visit backblaze.com slash holidays. Holidays are here, and so is fashionable fitness. Gift yourself a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G, a phone that folds in half to literally stand on its own. Pair it with the Galaxy Watch 4 for ultimate wellness and wow factor. Check health stats, flex personal records. Over 90 activities can be tracked, like biking, swimming, golfing, and more. Invest in yourself with tech made to crush goals. Holidays open up with Galaxy. Shop it all at Samsung.com. 5G connection and availability may vary. Check with Carrier. Products sold separately.